This is timbre embroidery. I like to work with size 11 seed beads, which are about two millimeters in diameter and can be really hard to see. But what if we crank that scale dial up to 100 and swap our seed beads for pony beads? It's fitting to use a crochet hook because timbre embroidery is basically just a chain stitch. The biggest difference is that it's worked through fabric. The stitch is formed by wrapping the thread around the hook, rotating, and drawing it up through the fabric, pushing it back so the hook doesn't catch. That's what this looks like at actual size. But what if we want to apply beads? In the French tradition, you use pre-strung beads and work from the back, sliding a bead up the string before the stitch is wrapped and formed. This is what that looks like at the size I'm used to working with. In the Indian tradition, you use loose beads and work from the front, using the hook to pick up a bead as you would a needle, and then sliding them over the chain loop once it's been formed. This is what that looks like at actual size. The scale comparison between these two types of beads is pretty wild, not to mention the difference in needle size. If you want to learn more about tambour embroidery, stick around because I have some really fun stuff coming up, and of course, let me know if you have any questions!